Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how not to wear makeup. I'm going to be showing you my makeup do's and my makeup don'ts. I seriously can't take myself serious right now. Seriously serious. So let's jump into this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love replying to you guys. And yeah, let's get started. My first tip has to do with finding the right foundation shade and blending it correctly. So this can be a bit hard if you're buying it from the drugstore, but it's okay. Just buy a few shades. That way you can mix them together to get your perfect skin tone. And also don't forget to blend it down to your neck. Personally for me, since I self tan, my face is always paler than the rest of me. So that's why I have a little bit darker foundation. Now this one is super dark. You don't want to make it so dramatic where your face is going to be darker than your neck. And then on this side I also didn't blend it down to my neck so it's kind of crazy. For my eyes, I'm just, I like to highlight with my concealer, it's kind of a personal preference, but you don't want to use a super bright, thick concealer and apply too much of it like I did on the right. So I just blend it out with my beauty blender and the left side is definitely more natural and then when I blend out the right side, it kind of looks pretty good on camera, but in real life it's extremely, extremely cakey. This concealer does have awesome coverage though, it's just very cakey if you apply too much and I'm almost too bright. For my eyes, you don't want to fill them in too crazy with the wrong shade. Um, some people have very thin eyebrows and that's totally fine, but if you already have decent sized eyebrows, you don't want your eyebrows to look like they're painted on. So that means just going way overboard with the wrong color that doesn't match is really going to draw attention to that. So to fix that, on the left side what I'm going to do is apply a very thin, natural coat. You could still shape your brows and if you go outside your brows that's okay. Just make it look more natural. Like this color just matches my brows a lot better. I'm still able to shape my brows but they look a lot more natural in my opinion. And of course you could set your eyebrows with eyebrow gel if you want to to really hold everything in place. For bronzer, you also want to use a light hand. I find when you're doing your makeup, everything you just want to apply a very light hand with because you can always darken it up. So here I'm not going too crazy with my contour, but on the other side I'm just kind of brushing it everywhere, bringing it way too close to my mouth and just kind of up into my forehead and down in my forehead, just kind of everywhere. And as you can see, especially around my cheeks, it really makes it look like there's dirt sitting on my face. It's very muddy and when I add in a blush like I'm gonna do here it's gonna make it even more muddy so again I'm applying a very very just light handed blush on this side it's much more heavy-handed and it's up to you if you want to apply blush to the apples of your cheeks only or kind of do the apples of your cheeks and work back that's kind of personal preference but just don't go too too overboard for eyeshadow, it's the same thing. I'm applying a very light color and then just building my crease darker. For this look, I'm keeping this eyeshadow very light and fresh, so that way on the other eye, like I'm gonna do here, you can see what happens if you apply too dark of a shadow all at once at first. You don't have any other colors to blend it in with, and it's gonna look very messy, and it's gonna be very hard to blend out overall. So this is me blending it out, and it still just doesn't really look nice. As for eyeliner, I'm using a liquid liner just on my top lash line on this eye. Um, I like to go thinner towards the inside and then thicker towards the outside. And then on this eye, I'm applying a pencil liner first just to my waterline, which I feel really draws your eye down if you only apply it to your lower waterline. And then if you do apply it to your upper lash line as well, make sure it's a bit thicker than what you apply to your lower waterline. Um, and make sure it's even as well. For mascara, I'm applying a thin coat on my upper and lower lashes. Some people don't like to do their lower lashes. I just find it, it just looks so much better in my opinion. And then on this side, I'm doing it very messy. My lashes are all clumped together. I kind of get some on my eyelid. And if you do, that's totally fine. Just make sure, let it dry, and then use a Q-tip to get it off. For my lip liner, I'm using a very natural color lip liner and filling my lips in. Now on the other side, I'm going outside of my lip and really pressing a lot harder and not so light-handedly. 
And so it's okay, I guess, for some looks if you're trying to make your lips look bigger, but you really want it to blend flawlessly when you do that because it can be very tricky and look like you really have fig lips. <laughs> so again, I used a natural color lip gloss and this lip gloss is, or this lipstick is like a concealer looking lipstick. It's just not the right color for me. It just doesn't go well. So there's my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. You can click right here to see my last video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!